It's a beautifully, beautifully made model. This would have been used to demonstrate the differences between the older style of plough and the new type of mechanism. But unfortunately, over the years, the tractor itself looks as though it's been dropped. This linkage is bent quite severely. Another main problem is this is the winding handle for the clockwork mechanism and it's in the position of the starting handle on the full size tractor. So this is where you would have started the engine. Um, what this does is this winds um, a long coiled spring which is effectively the drive shaft to the rear axle. This has come unattached from the shaft here so I've got to reattach that because at the moment the spring is just spinning on the shaft. Generally the condition of this of this plough is reasonable. The older style of plough we've got some damage on the wheel. Now I think with this I'm gonna call Brenton in. Brenton could you come in and have a look at this for me? Got. Well, we've got this uh, demonstration tractor, okay. and this is the old style of plough, but yeah. the wheels are made of very, very thin aluminium, aluminium. yeah. Obviously, it's broken on the hub, and I uh, wonder if yeah. you could do something with it. I can. I'm not going to weld it up. I'll make a new hub for it. If that's yeah, right. I, think it's, I think it's too thin, I'll isn't it? the original it's... wheel, but I'll put a new hub on it. Oh, that's that'd, be, right. that'd be fantastic. Okay. Yeah, great. Okay. Thanks ever so much. Right. Thank you. The first process really is to start cleaning it. It's, um, it's quite rusty, and then that will allow us to then start looking at the parts which are bent that need the major works. I'm gonna use a rotary wire brush to take off the remains of the old paint and then the rust so that we can then put a new fresh coat of paint on it. Davis, I've got your plough back. Oh, wow. um, oh, it's got nice. a new wheel, a uh, new wheel hub in it. Oh, amazing. And, yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, you can go ploughing now. Oh, Primed fantastic. it all up, ready for your oh, great top coat. Wonderful, thank you very much. Okay. It's lovely, thank okay. you. Okay. Great. Thanks. So now we've got the seat attached. The next thing which was missing was the starting handle on the front of the tractor. Now, I've made a new starting handle so that fits that fits nicely into the original hole um, but this needs just soldering on the starter handle attaches to a spring inside the tractor so when it's wound up it rotates the rear wheels nicholas father would have been turning the original handle and winding this tractor up to demonstrate it to the farmers out in, in Africa. It's quite a, quite a nice feeling to be holding that and imagining how many, how many tractors did this little model actually sell. Hopefully the family are gonna um, really appreciate that and, um, and that connection with it. This starter mechanism isn't the only moving part of the tractor which needs David's attention. So at some point the model has been dropped and um, unfortunately it's bent some of the linkages which hold the plough. So what I'm going to do now is just very gently straighten out these linkages. It's always a tense moment when you're bending something back of this age because it's difficult to actually see if, if it's starting to fracture. That will now sit nice and even both sides. I'm happy with that now. 